Hi everyone, in this video, we will discussing about the module 2 lesson 6, which is the HTML versus XHTML. So first is, what is HTML? So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So it is used for creating web pages or designing a website. And also, it is describes the structure of a web page. And HTML consists of a series of elements, and these elements tell the browser how to display the content. So HTML elements have a label pieces of content such as the heading, um, paragraph, and a link, also uh, images, and etc. So here we have a doc type HTML, which is the declaration defines that this document is an HTML and also a HTML uh, which is the element is the root element of an HTML page and also a head which it is the meta information of your web page and also a title that specifies a title of your page and also the makita mo na siya sa koan sa browser bitaw ko lang sa taas good ya mo na siya imuha nga title then the body unsa man na siyang imuha nga sulod sa imuha diha nga website and also the h1 is for the large heading which is kana sa first good nimo nga makita when you search a website good na mo na yang ma first nga makita mo diha kanang big kanang what is the name of your website with example our website is thrift line store so in the in our website it is in a home page it is a big head heading large heading here na nakabutang then also there is a paragraph so example so then you put on the like sa koan kanang imuha nga chatara and also we have the p element defines a paragraph and we have the html element so it is defined by a star tag and the content and the end tag so ang ato ang star tag is the less than than the h1 example h1 and the greater than then magbutang ta diha sa atong content and after that mag magbutang ta sa ato ang end tag which is is the less than magbutang na tag forward slash and the h1 and the greater than so mo na siya ang first tag content and the and tag so kung unsa ang imong gibutan dito as a first tag ay sa start tag katong example lagi atong h1 mo pud na dito as a and tag h1 pud na kay kung if lahi na imong ibutang diha mo error gud na siya and all HTML elements can have a attribute. So, example, the href. It is attribute of less than a greater than. So, it is specifies for links, your URL links. Kung na kay gusto ng ibutang link. And also for images is src, the attribute of less than amg, which is image, and greater than. So, it is a path of image to be displayed. And let's go on to XHTML. Stands for Extensible Hypertext Markup Language. So it is the same for the HTML, the syntax, or what. Atong ging pakita na ko ganina. But this XHTML have a difference into HTML, which is the kanang more strict sa XHTML kay tungod kanang unlike sa HTML nga nang okay ra siya nga dili siya ma properly good ang mga tags good niya ma close like ana diri asa xhtml is always be coded kanang gama isa lang ka mali mali good na siya then also the case sensitivity sa html is pwede ra siya kanang mga lower case or b or upper cases but diri asa XHTML is dili good siya pwede. Dapat sa lower case lang good siya. Kaya kung if, be of, if upper cases na siya yung ibutang, makuan siya, ma error, dili siya mag run, dili siya ma applied sa imuhang website na ibuhat. So, and also, is ang imuhang mga documents is must be well formed. 
ka ng o dapat ang imuhang nga code is in correct structure and syntax rule kay kung wala mo dito ging applied ang mga proper nga elements and the close tags mag error good siya po kihapon so in this two markup languages there are a advantages and the disadvantages so first let's talk about into the html so the advantages of html is html is easy to learn na dili Yes, dili siya sa yun, but dali ra siya matunan. And also upheld by all programs and it being implicit content and it easy to alter. And also simple to coordinate with different dialects and it is a lightweight and this HTML is the premise of all programming dialects. So, dali ra good siya ikuan. Then the content being compressible and it is quick to download. And also, there have a disadvantage of this. HTML can make only a plain and a static pages. Kanang plain na good siya, kanang wa na good siya, wala kay ka kuan-kuan, wala kay etchatara etchatara, chuchu, and good. Then, it is a great deal of code is needed to be comp composed to make a basic website page. So, mauto. And, HTML security highlights aren't awesome. So, ang security ana niya is dili siya ka ng secured good. Yes, and also the advantage of XHTML. So, <coughs> while using HTML, so, the code of web application becomes more stylish and easy to reuse. So, ka ng <coughs> kuan na siya, ka ng nindot na siya gamitun. And also, nang mag-help po siya sa mga developer to create more advanced web projects kay kuan naman siya kanang nagagamit naman siya scalable vector graphics not like atong sa HTML and also a XHTML is can be easy ra siya ma-convert into PDFs and other nga ginagamit sang developer sa ilahang trabaho and also it is reduced for loading time required by the browser to load an event which can result in overall speedy development and it is reducing time and energy. So, maka maliput imuhang time diriya. And it contains closing tags which is an advantage for beginners and this also makes the code look clean and easy to reuse. Kaya makita man mo diha ka ng asa ka diha nga part diha o mag na ay mali o oh, list dan ra nimo ana good and also there have a disadvantage as of xhtml so it is very few browsers use xhtml so gamay ra good siya and the case sensitive is as if every part of code should be in lowercase lagi as yahang maog ng yahang uh, rules or regulation and it is mandatory to write a doc type declaration at the first of your code and the old tags is must be close so there are the major historical perspectives of markup language the html versus xhtml so the evolution of html so it is the development influ influence how a developer can produce a use web content so Manisha, we have the HTML1 in 1993. Nga si Tim Berners Lee, ang creator ani. And the next one is the HTML2.0. is developed develop in 1995. And also the HTML3 in 1995. And HTML3.2. In 1997 is a first widely adopted standard and brought about significant improvements and the HTML 4.01 and is this a significant advancement by providing a better support so that developers can easily use cascading style sheets and this is the extensible hyper markup language which is the XHTML that is so to give HTML the XML structure that is well-formed documents and adhered to stricter syntax guidelines. The main versions of XHTML were the 1.0 and the 1.1. So, and 
side, we have the HTML5. It is a marked significant turning point of HTML development. So it made a simpler to develop rich web applications by introducing a wide range of new elements and APIs for multimedia graphics and interactivity. Also, they use iCanvas, video, audio, and scalable vector graphics elements were important features in this web page. So with the elements like header, nav, and the footer, HTML5 also prioritizes semantic markup, making it sim simpler for search engines and assistive technologies to understand web content. So this is more advanced na good siya. Hindi ang time. So what you see sa ato ang report karon as ato ang aging discuss is na agud kalahian ang HTML and XHTML so which is na asay mga it's good this one and the, another one so na arasay mga advancements nga nahitabo and also a na atay pilian kung asa mas prefer na to into this two na markup language so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.